everyone. So, as you know, Hannah and I love making hot pot. Um, or we love going out to eat hot pot. But we also like doing it here at home as well. So today, uh, we're going to do a little video to kind of show you how we create the soup that we typically use, as well as the setup and hopefully the eating portion of actually seeing uh, how hot pot How big the pot? The soup itself is probably going to be maybe 1.5 liters, but we add the stuff to it, so you're going to want it to be uh, somewhat larger. Hannah likes to add stuff to the soup after the fact, so I go for basically the biggest one that I have. And what we're going to first start off with is we're going to put about 1.5 liters, which is six and a half cups of water into the pot. Now, I typically use, basically, um, what we like to do, um, or what I like to do for measuring the 1.5 liters, that, see that. is I'll use these blender bottles, and if you look on the sides, it does say uh, how many milliliters or ounces are inside here. And so, this fills up to about 600, so I fill it all the way up twice, and then add 300 to it at the end. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll go from there. All right. Now, after we have this, we're gonna go ahead and put it on a boil. And so once we have that, so how how hot is the store should be? Like you put it in the high temperatures yep. or like? High. Basically right. we want it to boil as soon as possible. All right. uh, the next thing that we're going to add is some corn and some carrots. Um, at the store we have these pre-cut pieces of corn. But Where you bought it? At the grocery store. All right. And the um, grocery store you can buy the corns. Yeah. The corns. <laughs> And uh, I like to freeze these and I cut them, I have them pre-prepared so we can just drop them in. Mm -hmm. um, and we also want to use carrots as well. Um, you can take whole carrots and then chop them up into smaller pieces. Mm -hmm. But uh, for something that's just really quick, it's you can, convenience. Yeah. yeah. You can grab some baby carrots and pop them in. But basically, um, the way that Hot Pot works, these ingredients are going to uh, add flavor to the soup itself mm -hmm. um, and we basically just wait for it to boil some um, and once we have everything put together it should take about 20 minutes to so how, how many small carrots you put inside uh, the pot? basically you want about one carrot's worth maybe two carrots like big carrots worth of stuff All right. um, obviously the more that you have the more flavor there's going to be and last but not least, the next ingredient we're going to want to add is some chicken stock or chicken broth mix. All right. We typically use Nors, um, but you can use bouillon as well, but we use let chicken. Let me, let me. This has uh, one teaspoon for every cup of boiling water. So we'll put about uh, six and a half teaspoons in. Um, I believe it's also... Yeah, so six six teaspoons will probably work for us. Um, and so done. All you need to do is stir it up. Now we typically use one of these ladles. If you buy a um, hot pot uh, from Amazon, we'll include a link to one in the description. Um, they typically come with these ladles. And the nice thing about them is, you know, they've got this little strainer effect on them, so it's helpful for mixing as well as for being able to pull things out of the soup. Mm -hmm. So basically, that's all you really need to do to get the soup ready. And this works for our base chicken soup that Hannah typically likes, mm -hmm. or Hien typically likes. Um, but the stores, Asian markets, typically have hot pot mixes as well. And we typically have a couple of those on stock as well. Like for instance right here, this is a more spicy seasonings. The spicy ones tend to take longer to develop, 
Um, and so this is another potential option if you want a quick, uh, ready to go hot pot. Mm -hmm. So um, with that, we're basically gonna wait about 30 minutes. Honey, you haven't mentioned how long you should keep the soup on. That's what I was about to say. So we're basically gonna wait about 20 minutes for the soup to boil and to keep uh, um, heating. We want it to boil for 20 minutes, so we'll just leave it on for about 25 minutes or so, mm -hmm. and uh, then we'll be good to go uh, for making the actual uh, hot pot. And okay. Hannah will talk about the getting everything else ready aside from the meat for the hot pot. The easy soup that you can make is actually just tom yum. Um, tom yum paste can be found in most Asian markets and it creates a nice spicy but um, not or not too spicy but not too plain flavor to it. Uh, really really nice to use as hot pot base as well um, and you can just pick that up and then boil 1.5 liters of water and then uh, get it ready to go. So. second soup now. I put about half a cup of oil in and now I'm supposed to fry this up to fragrance which basically means so it smells nice and uh, after we get this going I'll be able to add in some water and we'll have our second soup ready. Okay. All right you can turn it on. You tell your favorite, the is your favorite soup. This is actually my first time trying this soup uh -huh. so we're gonna see if it's good or not. And then I'll let you know if I recommend getting it, if you like spicy things, or how spicy it actually is. Mm -hmm. But we're basically just frying it up a little bit so it gets some flavor. Then we're gonna go ahead and add in some water to boil. And as you can see, our normal stock, it's boiling as well. Um, this looks pretty good, right? You wanna have, you know, slightly, or non-transparent water so it's got some more flavor to it. Obviously, you can add or, or you can add more chicken stock if it doesn't taste the way you want it to. Um, but it's kind of a, a flavor preference thing. You talk like a step. <laughs> I tried. It's going pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some water. Now this one asks for 1,200, so it's just two of the six. If you're making your own soup, you can always make more. Um, like if you reuse, you can also reuse the carrots and the corn as well if you'd like. Um, it's all about just absorbing that flavor. And basically the more water you put in, the more diluted it's going to be. Um, that's a way to control the flavor. Um, a lot of time, a lot of times at different stores, um, they'll put in uh, more water as your pot runs out. Mm -hmm. That typically takes away the flavor of what you're, you're eating. Um, so uh, that's perfectly fine, um, but you know, just keep that in mind when you're making these soups. Uh, that's also one of the problems of using one of the store-bought ones is you're kind of limited to whatever they give you. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you're making your own, you can do exactly what it is you want. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the the really awesome thing about Hot Pot is you can cook whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And whoever is eating with you, they can put in whatever they want. And it, it kind of allows you to have a communal eating experience that uh, you can't really get from normal uh, normal food. So, mm -hmm. nice stuff. How long you uh, is it like well, this one, once it boils again, we cook it for about five minutes and then it's done. All so, right. Should be good to go. And this is looking good too. So, How big you want to cut the potato? You want the small slices or you want like big sure. one? Big one. Small spine or large? That looks good. <laughs> okay. For Come. this potato, we did not like the pure, pure, the, pure of the cells. Mm -hmm. yeah, so but you're more than welcome to. Yeah. 
And you can also, if you're, the smaller you cut the potato, the faster it'll cook. Uh, potatoes tend to take a lot longer to cook than other vegetables, um, but they also get a lot of flavor and they're nice. Um, you can put the potatoes in, these mini potatoes in, right as they are, or you can cut them into strips or cut them in the way that Hannah's doing now. And uh, you want it big enough that you can grab it with your chopsticks or, you know, your ladle, uh, but you, you know, you want it to be uh, not too big so that it actually has flavor. And so... Here we are. This is all our healthy food. Look at this. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's see. This is a beef, beef ball. This is fish ball. Mm. This is potatoes. And this is... Brussels uh, sprouts? Yep. That's some um, tofu, I think? Yes. And that's some butternut squash? No, no, sweet potato. Oh, sweet potato, sorry. <laughs> All right. This is uh, the mushroom, but they call it like, seafood, seafood mushroom. mushroom. And this, I don't know, is in the English call, but like, uh, I Hunter know, place. like, tired of like Hong Kong. Oh, Hong Kong. Mm. Yeah. So in the Asian, they call it Hong Kong, but I don't know American how it's like name yeah. to the vegetable so if you want like different vegetable it still be okay like any kind of vegetable you like so it still be fine Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, basically, one of the, again, like I mentioned before, one of the really awesome things about Hot Pot is the fact that whatever you like, whatever you have, you can just put in and uh, have it to eat. Now, you know, a couple things we know that we really like, like for instance, you know, potatoes, carrots, as well as uh, noodles and stuff. Um, but now we've talked about all the healthy stuff, let's talk about the non-healthy stuff that I like, the meat and the noodles. So, um, in our fridge, we actually already have uh, some pre-cut um, meat. Um, if you have an Asian market nearby, you might have something like this as well. Um, there are a couple different meats that are used. Um, I really like the pork Wait belly. For I, I, I really like the pork belly as well as beef brisket. Now these we actually got from H Mart uh, near Chicago, but typically um, if your city has an Asian market, yeah, you can see there H Mart. But typically if your town has an Asian market, you should be able to see it there. Um, but they have the different Mm -hmm. Yes, so different places have different different cuts. Um, typically for shabu shabu or hot pot, um, it's known different places are the same thing. Um, you want a thin slice uh, because you're typically not going to be cooking the meat for very long. Um, actually, shabu shabu um, is the Japanese word for hot pot. And the reason why it's called shabu shabu is the fact that you can waddle things just a little bit, a few seconds, and it cooks the whole meat. Hannah's also gotten out some shirataki noodles. Um, these are really awesome. They have no calories, no carbs, nothing. And they, uh, they're pretty nice. Um, typically, if you want to cook these, you typically take them out of the bag, rinse them out with some water, and you're good to go. Um, you can also use ramen noodles. These are mama noodles, which are, uh, I think, a much higher quality noodle than, say, like top ramen. And so I, I really enjoy having those in the soup. Um, and uh, they're also quick. You can click and grab and go. So um, aside from that, um, now that we have all this stuff getting ready to bring over to the table, we also need to talk about how uh, to actually cook this stuff because well, while it's possible to co cook the soup here on the stove, you typically want to eat together as a family. Um, and so for us, we actually have a bun single Bunsen burner that we have hooked up It's an electric burner and uh, we place this on the table like such and we will put the uh, soups on a pot with this. And so with hot pot, we have these special um, soup pots.
pots, which we have right over here. Now this is a small one. This is a typical one by Tayama, which is our first hot pot that we got. And you'll notice that it's split so it has the space to put two soups in here. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this soup in one of the slots and then this soup in the other. It's pretty good for Hannah and I, or Hien and I, because we want to, you know, we're not gonna eat too terribly much. But if we have friends and guests coming over, we've got this much larger hot pot, which actually has the space for three soups. Uh, depending on, you know, typically Asian markets have these available. Um, also, you can get them on Amazon. And uh, there, I've also seen four split pots as well. Um, but I think at least for your first time trying, you can always just use just your normal pot if you want to just have one soup. Or you can pick one of these up. I think it's like 20 bucks. So with that in mind, I think we're going to go ahead and move the soups over on here. Okay. Okay. Um, one of the other things that you might want to do with hot pot is uh, dip your meat and stuff in a sauce. And so Hannah right now is going to be working on building a sauce for us. Okay. So I have like it's my sauce. It's a dip. You guys can do like different kind of sauce you guys want to have, but. Me is my favorite sauce. Is now I have like the garlic here. Like I have like three pieces of garlic here. So I have the red chili. This red chili I post in the Asian markets nearby my place. And the lamb is if like the big one like that. You guys that need the half ones is to be okay. So another one is the chili oil is to add the, a little bit hot on the sauce and the sesame oil, okay? If you want, want some more, uh, a little bit hot and sour so we can put like the honey better for you. Where the bleeder? I don't know. I so it's here. There we are. All right, here you are. Then it is a necklace. So first of all, if you guys, uh, you you can use a knife to uh, what's what? Flatten. Flat. Flatten. Cut or flatten? Okay. Smash. Cut. Okay. Snap. Snap the the garlic, or you can using the garlic press. Garlic press to press the garlic to be small pieces so it adds the more flavor to the sauce look at that okay it's easy to get it see that okay, okay let me get a spoon to get it out <laughs> right it looks mm. nice I don't know, maybe the US like Americans, they don't like the garlic. Everyone likes garlic. Everyone likes garlic. Okay, I'm strong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See that. But not everyone can eat the spicy way. Mm -hmm. You think the American people like spicy food? They, some people do, some people don't, you know, it's all about preferences. Uh-huh. You know, I started off not liking spicy food so much, but then uh, now spicy food is kind of my thing, so. <laughs> well, the nice thing about this, right, is unlike a regular restaurant, you can kind of just customize things for however you want and what you like, so. You can always add or remove any of these ingredients and you can probably still have something that's nice. All right. Talking about the spicy, so now I have like two red chilies here. Depend on like how spicy you want to be inside the sauce. So you can get one or two, but I want to like, it's, food, it's more flavor to my sauce. So I get like two chili. So either you can cut it to the small pieces or you can use the series where 
is my serious. <laughs> yeah, to cut it inside the sort here. Look at that. Alright. It is really spicy, you guys. I I am kind of person don't like spicy, but like I like that kind of sauce. Uh, add a little spicy on the my my food. It make the flavor become nicer. So now is how how this called? Lime. Lamb, but like what I doing now? Right now you are uh, pushing the lime. <laughs> You're pressing it. Okay, to make like you get more juice inside the bowl, so you like ask my way. Like I press the lamb, it's hard to like make more like juice out mm -hmm. here. Make it easier yeah. to get the juice out. Yeah. All right. So now I cut it on the half, but like I don't want. So much of like the shower, so I cut like this more. So now I squish it inside. The... Okay, so the kind of thing I think I need to ask for help. <laughs> See what you do here. <laughs> Honey, press is harder, please. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, I think we've got it all. And so now you can see it's all wrung out. Yep. And you always add more of the line if you want, or less, depending on what you like. Mm -hmm. All right. So next. You can pour the chili oil. Chili oil inside is more, just so only small. It's not so much. One or two. Alright. And here is six me oil. Alright. So this also one or two. And to add a little like vinegar inside. Oh! It's hard to open. <laughs> he, see, he's strong guy. All right, we had. So now we stir everything and make the soup is become. Oh, one thing I remember special things is like for the Asians who do <laughs> who doesn't like. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Vietnamese fish sauce we put in the Vietnam ma Vietnamese market in the place where we live. All right, so I add like one, two inside to make the flavor. Let it. Ah, it's spicy. Mm hmm <laughs> I kind of person like the salty thing, so like... But it's super spicy. I like it. It's good. Okay. Done. And so with that, we now have our entire setup, and we're ready to start eating our hot pot. Now, in our case, we're working with some chopsticks to work with. Uh, you can also use uh, tongs. Like for instance, here you can use tongs if you don't if you don't feel comfortable using chopsticks. You can always grab something. Let me turn it like this light off, and it will be like better. better. All right. 
So you always use tongs to grab things, put them in the soup if you don't feel comfortable. But basically, all you have to do is put some food in, cook it for a while, and then you can go ahead and eat it. Now, you can also use chopsticks as well if you feel comfortable working with that. In which case, you can just grab things as well. Of course, the one time I'm trying to show off my using chopsticks, I'm doing poorly at it. Um, but with that, you can plug things in, and when it's finished cooking, you can pull it out, cook it, enjoy it, and uh, that's what we're going to do now. Well, I hope you all enjoyed learning how we make hot pot, and I hope that you guys will have hot pot in the future as well. And, uh, you know, we got both these soups going on, and if we were to go ahead and let it cook for a few minutes, we'll be able to test it and tell you just how good it is. All right. But uh, traditionally, with these meats, uh, once the water's boiling, you should be able to cook them really quickly by swishing, swish, 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 swish. See that the water is starting to yeah. boil now. Mm -hmm. See that? Look at that. <laughs> but with that, let's eat. Okay, if you guys have any questions about making the soup, where to buy it, just come. Yeah, leave us a comment. If you'd like to see us do something else, let us know as well. Um, you know, one of our other favorite things to do is mukata, so we can talk about preparing that as well. No. <laughs> Mukata and the barbecue. How right. to make the Korean some, barbecue? You can do some but, Korean barbecue. Yeah. All right. So at this point, we've got our soup, and the soup is somewhat boiling for us. And so um, we're gonna continue eating our meal. But uh, once you have the food and boiling, you should be able to pull out meat, any piece of meat, and if you see that it's cooked through, then you should be able to eat through it. Um, the potatoes and stuff typically take longer. Uh, beef, you can typically see that it turns brown rather than what it originally looked like. And uh, you should get like that. Mmm. So good. The soup <laughs> flavor. Really <laughs> spot on. Thanks, honey. <laughs> Alternatively, if you aren't a fan, of, or if you don't know how to use chopsticks, you can use tongs. You can pull things out. Pull it out. You can eat that as well. A little more messy, but still can work for you. Mmm. Really good. And lastly, you can also make use of that ladle we talked about earlier. You can go down, pull it out. And you've already got stuff from your soup. So it's an easy way to pull things out, especially larger things like pieces of corn. And so with that, is there anything else that you want to talk about, honey? Alright. Well with that in mind, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned how, I hope that maybe you learned something and maybe you might consider doing pop on your own. Uh, but with that in mind, I think we're gonna start eating. So we'll see you guys later. Bye.